Take me through what that moment was like for you last year when you got the call and then all of a sudden, you know, you go from being in the minors to, to being with the big club. What was that like for you? Uh, it went by fast, you know. Uh, one night I'm taking a nap and get a call and say you're going to the major leagues and then the next day I'm at Yankee Stadium and then, you know, from there just kind of like a blur. It just went so fast and then you kind of think back on it when you're in the off season and then it's just like, man, that all happened. And, I kind of remember it at the time, but then you start, you know, you start getting it back again as you go on. Sometimes when you're in the moment, you know, hey, you're a ball player, you're just playing. But then when the off season comes and you get a chance to kind of reflect, you kind of go, wow, <laughs> that was pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's something you dream about doing your whole life, and then you just think it's normal because you're going to play baseball. But then the off season, you really think about what you've done and and how few of guys have actually made it to the big leagues, and it's like, you know, it's, a, it's all, it's all, all moment almost, you know, so. I mean, it was awesome. It's a, it's a great time. I'm hoping I can do it more this year. Were you, I don't want to say surprised, because you have to have confidence in yourself, but were you at all thinking, this is easier than I thought it would be? <laughs> Maybe somewhere in the back of your mind? Uh, I don't know if easier is the word that, that came to mind. I mean, you know, I think I just took it all in stride and just told myself I'm going to, you know, show what I can do and do the best that I can and play hard every day. And I think the results showed for themselves that, you know, I can play at that level. And I think, you know, Having those first few days of success kind of gave me even extra confidence to know that you know I can play at this level and I can compete. Pitchers are going to make adjustments to you. Is that one of the, the toughest challenges as a, as a guy now playing in the majors is adjusting to their adjustments? Yeah, I think that was the biggest thing. You saw I came up and did you know first ten games was really good, and then the, the middle ten to twelve was you know kind of just up and down, and then the last ten was really good again. So it's like you know. I get going and they kind of they adjust to you and then you kind of got to adjust to them and it's now it's a game of who can make the better adjustment. You know, hitting can slump, but the two areas that they always say shouldn't slump are if you have speed, your speed, and defense. And while your hitting may have gone up and down at one point, your defense was there the whole time. How much pride do you take in that ability to play D? A lot. I mean, I take a lot of pride in my defense. I always have. You know, I was little, I was just drilled defense, 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 you know, just by all my coaches and my dad and just, you know, you can play defense, you can stick around, they can, you, can, you can learn how to hit. So I don't really know if, it, you know if it's true, but I just go out there every day and just try to, you know, help the pitchers as much as I can and, you know, make the most plays. Oh, man. You obviously know that, you know, one of the best second baseman players in the world, Royal Alomar. One thing, anyone that watched him was that he loved playing the game. He sat there at second base with a smile on his face and just loved playing the game. Do you find that, that that's, that's you, that, when you're out there that you couldn't be in a happier place. Yeah, honestly. Sometimes during the game I'll be sitting there smiling and I'm thinking to myself like, why am I really smiling? But you know, it's, it's it's a kid's game and I love playing and you know, it's just, it's fun. You mentioned the hitting and making adjustments. Uh, talk about Kevin Seitzer and, and what he's managed to do with you and the time that you spent with him this off season. Yeah, I had a little bit of time to work with him. Just kind of, you know, worked on a few things that's gonna help me out in, in the long run. You know, just taking a little bit of movement out of my swing, not having my hands moving as far, moving as much. So I think it's gonna help me really see the ball better, see breaking balls better, you know, lay off pitches and, you know, help my overall play discipline. Yeah. He came in and he'd been hitting for quite a while, so he was, you know, swing ready and, and after three days, we made a few tweaks here and there and he was liking it. And, so it was good. It got us a head start on coming in down here. Is it? You learn too that you know the, the physical part of the game is one thing, but the mental part of the game is is a totally different animal that you face more so maybe even in the majors. Yeah, the mental part's big. I mean, I feel like the mental part's huge. So and I think me being a confident person that I am, I, I think it helped me out just being mentally tough and just going in every day and just grinding and competing. What does that mental toughness do for you now here in spring training when you know that? you know, many are penciling you in as the everyday second baseman and, and you know that the chance is there for that to happen. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking it in right now. I mean, you can say what you want, but I know they're not going to give me the job and I'm just going to hand it over on a silver platter. I still got to go out there and earn it and play well during spring training, which I expect to do and, you know, keep the job. What do you have to do to win the job? Like, do you say, come to you, if, this, if I do this, then it's, I've done everything I can and it's up to them now to make that decision. I think I think overall it is, it's up to them no matter what, you know. I think I can just go out there and, and play my game and play the way that I always play and fun with energy and play good defense, hit the ball hard and I think at the end of the day it's always up to them. It's not anything I can do to say, hey, I should be on this team. It's, it's going to be up to the people that are in charge. Growing up, did you have a, a second baseman 
or a ball player that you went, that's who I want to be like? I mean, growing up, I played shorts. I mean, my favorite players when I was growing up were, were Jeter and uh, actually Ray was one of my favorite players when I was growing up too also. And then, you know, watching Robinson Cano was trying to play second it's pretty unbelievable. So the shortstop is something that you could do as well uh, still here? That you oh, like for to? sure. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. What's your natural position? I don't know now. <laughs> I really don't know Anywhere now. they're willing to put you, right? Yeah, wherever you want to put me in the lineup, wherever you want to be on the field, it's fine with me. Are you starting to notice that the fans are starting to notice you because we hear a groundswell of, of, of fans that are just excited to have a, a second baseman who can play above average defense? Yeah, it's great to have the fans behind you, makes you feel good, makes you, you know, go out there and play a little harder, so I like it. How tough is it to keep it out of your head when you hear people saying, all right, Blue Jays are solved second base now for next year? I don't really pay attention to all that, you know, I just kind of come here day to day and just do what I can do. Going for like Ottawa, we, uh, we love the city, we love the snow, we love the cold weather. Wear our jackets and toques. But uh, thank you guys for the support. We come out in April. Um, I like Pilar and Bowen. I think Pilar is just generally a really good guy, and I like the camaraderie that the two of them have on the field together. Like, they really support each other. You know, winning the AL East, uh, game five of uh, the division series is unbelievable. I mean, one of the most special moments of, of my career. I mean, probably not only for me, but our teammates as well. Just to, uh, to have the crowd behind us and the country behind us was pretty special. But you know, it couldn't happen to a better guy, you know. I mean he's yeah, special special kid.